Hey everybody and welcome back to the Homestead Kitchen. I am going to be sharing a recipe with you guys today and we are going to be putting up some more cucumbers. This recipe is how to make fermented pickles and then we are going to can them for long term storage. As always, the full ingredient list and recipe will be in the description box of this video. Let's just do a quick overview of everything we're gonna need. We have pickling spice, dill, a little bit of fresh garlic, some pickling salt. You're gonna need regular white vinegar, and you're also gonna need, of course, your big bowl of cucumbers. And then you're gonna wanna have two gallons of fresh water. And then you're gonna need something to ferment your pickles in, some kind of jar like this that has a lid, and that's gonna be about it. The first step is we're gonna make our brine. So we're gonna add the fresh water to this pot here, and then we're gonna add our vinegar and also our pickling salt and give that a good stir until all of that salt dissolves. Next, we're gonna add a layer of the pickling spice and our dill to the bottom of our pickle jar. Make sure that you reserve some of each because we're gonna add a layer on top when we're all done. Now let's go ahead and get all these pickles put in this jar here. You guys wanna make sure that you stuff them in here to within four inches from the top of the jar because we've gotta have room to put our weights in here to keep the pickles under the brine while they ferment. And then all we're gonna do is add our brine over the top, the rest of our spices, and put the lid on it. Now that we've got everything added to the jar, we're gonna add in our fermenting weights. I've already stuck them in here. I will link these for you guys in the description box. I got these on Amazon. They're just glass fermenting weights. I have four in this big pickling jar. Um, you might need more depending on how big your jar is and how many pickles you're uh, gonna be putting up. But in this big jar, I have four of the fermenting weights. The most important thing is that all of your pickles stay submerged under the brine during the fermentation process. Anything that floats above could get moldy and we don't want that. Make sure you date your jar so you remember when you started to um, ferment the pickles. And all we're gonna do you guys is leave this on the counter at room temperature until all the cucumbers turn the same color. They're gonna turn kind of like an off green color. So for me in my house, the temperature that we keep our home at, this took about seven days of allowing them to ferment on the counter. As you can see here, they're starting to turn kind of that off green color that I was telling you about, but they're not all there yet. This is about day three, so I'm gonna let them set a little bit longer. 
Also, it's very important during the fermentation process that you don't have a lid that screws on tight. You need to allow the gases to release during fermentation. If you don't, you can end up with a really big mess on your counter, which is why I always play it safe and put it on a cookie sheet. So this is about day five, and as you guys can see, the air bubbles rising in the jar. This is good, this shows that your fermentation is working, so don't be alarmed, but this is why you don't wanna have a tightly screwed on lid because you need to allow all of that to release. I wanted to mention quickly for those of you that may not know, sometimes you'll notice your garlic start to turn a greenish blue color like this here and that's totally normal, it's totally safe, it's not mold. Basically garlic enzymes um, give it that distinct flavor, they break down over time. Naturally occurring sulfur in the garlic interacts with those enzymes and occasionally it turns it a slight green or blue color, but it's totally safe, nothing to worry about. All right, so it's been about seven days and all of the cucumbers have turned the same color. For your home, this may look a little different, um, but for me, it took seven days. So all we're gonna do now is remove the fermenting weights, remove the pickles from the brine, and then strain the brine so that we get all the solids out of it because we wanna heat that to put over the pickles when we can them. Now you wanna go ahead and get all your canning stuff ready. I've boiled and sanitized my rings and my lids. I've got all of my canning supplies here on the counter ready to go. And then I also have my pickle fresh granules. These are optional, but they do help keep the pickles crunchier when they are canned. And then I also have over on the stove, we've got the hot water bath canner warming up to a simmer and I've got my brine warming up. We want to bring that to a boil. And then I've also sanitized all of my jars in the oven and I like to keep them in the oven with the light on to keep them nice and hot until I'm ready to go. Now with this recipe, you guys can keep the pickles whole if you want to, um, but I am gonna be canning these in quart sized jars. So if I put these whole pickles, I'm only gonna be able to get like four or five pickles in a jar, and that is just not efficient for me. So I like to cut them in half, and that way I can stuff more pickles in each jar that I'm gonna be canning. Now all we're gonna do is stuff our jars really well, get as many in there as you can without smushing them. And then we're gonna add one quarter teaspoon of pickle fresh granules to each jar, top them off with our delicious brine and get these canned up.
Now make sure when you're adding your brine that you guys leave at least one inch headspace at the top. That way your jars will seal properly. Then we're gonna get all the air bubbles out of the jars and wipe our rims really well so that there's no food or debris on the edges because that could prevent them from sealing properly. Now we're gonna lower our jars into our hot water bath canner. Make sure that the water is above the jars at least by one inch. You wanna make sure that they're completely submerged under the water. And then we're gonna put the lid on the pot, bring our heat up to medium high until it comes to a rapid boil, and then we're gonna start our processing time. For these quart jars today, we're gonna to process them for 15 minutes. After they're done processing, we simply turn the burner off, take the lid off, Allow them to set for about five minutes before removing them from the pot. Now I could go down to the local grocery store and pick up a few jars of pickles, but that wouldn't be very fun, now would it? Make sure you guys allow your jars to cool for at least 12 hours before you remove the rings. Everything should be sealed and you're good to go. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that quick video on how to make delicious fermented pickles and then how to can them up for long-term storage. Now, if you don't wanna can your pickles, you don't have to. Fermented pickles will last for a good eight to nine months in the jar that you have them in, as long as you keep them in the refrigerator or really nice, cool area. But if you wanna be on the safe side or you don't think that you're gonna eat them quick enough, just canning them up in a water bath canner like we did today is a very easy way to preserve those pickles long term. Fermented foods are so good for your gut health, you guys. I've done a lot of different pickle recipes with you guys here on the channel so far. Um, I love all of them, but I wanted to really quickly do a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys so that you can see just kind of like the color and the texture difference between the refrigerator pickles that I did here in this video and also these fermented pickles that we did today. So they have a distinct um, difference in flavor. They're both crunchy in my opinion. Um, but the thing is with the refrigerator pickles, you have to remember if you don't eat them quick enough and they set in the refrigerator in that vinegar for too long, they will continue to get spicy as they sit in there. So if you've got little ones, you know, like Parker doesn't really like the pickles to be very spicy and sometimes the garlic can play into that too, depending on how long they sit in that brine. So the fermented option or just canning regular pickles, not even fermenting them, may be a better option than the refrigerator pickles. As you guys can see here, there is a clear difference in the look of these pickles. So the one on the left here is the refrigerator pickles that are simply just put in a jar with vinegar and all your spices and some garlic and they're put in the refrigerator. So there's no canning involved and these refrigerator pickles are perfect 
if you just have a handful of cucumbers or not necessarily enough to do a big batch of canned pickles, the refrigerator pickle recipe is just a great recipe for that. Now the fermented pickles, as you can see, the brine is much more cloudy and that is totally fine. Fermented pickles are supposed to look like that. So there's nothing wrong with the uh, cloudiness that you see in the jar. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these up, you guys. I'm gonna cut into them, show you kind of what the differences in the color, and then I'm gonna do a little taste test for both of them and just give you my opinion. So you can see clearly the difference there. The really nice thing about the refrigerator pickles is they stay so uh, vibrant and green compared to the fermented pickles and even just regular canned pickles that aren't fermented tend to have this more of a dull color, which I don't mind it. They still taste absolutely delicious, but some people have a preference just based on the way the, the pickles look. All right, you guys, so I've got my refrigerator pickle and my fermented pickle. The first one I'm gonna try out today is going to be the refrigerator pickle. So let's see if it's crunchy. Woo! Definitely still crunchy. And I put these up, I don't know, maybe a month ago or so, but they are definitely tangy, <laughs> but they're really good. These are awesome cut up and put in like egg salad or tuna salad. All right, so that was the refrigerator pickle and now I'm gonna try out this fermented pickle. Mmm, that's really good too. Crunchy, not as crunchy as the refrigerator pickle, but I'm not surprised because these ones are canned. So whenever you can something, it tends to get a little bit softer. The flavor is so good in this fermented pickle. This is a really hard choice if I had to pick one, and it's hard because they're both delicious, but I guess it just depends on what you like. They're both crunchy. Um, the refrigerator pickle is definitely more tangy, more vinegary. I mean, that flavor just really pops, and I would say that the fermented pickle is more of like a milder, flavor, but still really good. Um, you can taste that dill, you can taste the pickling spice, all that good stuff in there. Um, so they're both really good, you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed these two videos on how to make pickles. You've got the refrigerator pickle video that I, sh that I shared with you, and then now you've got these fermented pickles as well. So both are a great way to use up all those cucumbers that we got going on in the garden, right? And even if you don't have a garden, you guys, you can just go down to the grocery store or your local farmer's market and pick up some cucumbers and make some delicious homemade pickles for your family. All right, you guys, go ahead and hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe while you're here. Until next time, take care and I will see you very soon.